that was his birthday present for Box. Today's his birthday. Happy birthday. Um, no, just a, a really solid effort by our team, start to finish. Um, to get the 10 wins in this league, to, to finally get a sweep is good. And it's always fun to get every every kid in the game. Uh, that doesn't happen very often in this league. So they can all say they played at Hilton and did some things. So just uh, very business-like from start to finish. And uh, hard to believe we're down to the last week, but very proud of the way we played today. I know you had mentioned uh, yesterday that you thought there's still a lot of time to, to get momentum. Does a game like this help achieve that? Yeah, I think it does. I, you know, I think every every time you go out and play, and again, I understand, you know, TC is struggling. But at the same time, you're still having to do things through a scouting report, offensively, defensively, that you need to grow from. And, and again, it's another another good night for Mal. Uh, Ashley Jones was incredible in the first half. So, yeah, I, I think that even though you win by – a larger margin. I, I still think you're always the game is the best teacher, and that's why I kept telling them. It's like you know, it's a 40 minute game. The fans paid for 40 minutes. You know, if you're going to a great movie, you don't leave early. You know, you're at a great party, you don't leave early. You finish the game, and so I, it, like I said, I, I and it, I think the other thing it does is it gives us a good look in a game situation. But Izzy, Sean, Maggie, those are those are things that you can't simulate in practice. We got that today. What kind of clicked there at the end of the first quarter when you picked up that, once again, momentum? No, I, I, you know, I, I thought we played really well the last 90 seconds of the quarter. We, we finally defended. They, they made some tough shots early, but we got some transition baskets, hit a three uh, on a late shot clock play. Uh, Lex knocked in a three to give us a seven point lead. And then the second quarter was exactly what you hope. We guarded really, really well. We, we scored the ball. Um, but I, I, I think it, for us, it, it's the two things that, you know, you guys are getting bored with me saying it, but if we do our scouting report defense and we can make some shots, then we can compete with a lot of people. And I think you saw that today. You touched on Ashley. I don't know if she's always able to be this efficient. 22 points at 12 shots because of I had to lean on her for tough shots, tough situations. But to be able to do that, it felt like really ignited everybody a little bit during a couple of big runs. Yeah, I, mean, I, I think Ash was, you know, really, as, like, as you said, Rob, as efficient as she's been. Um, she took a lot of good shots. She, she's seven for 10 at halftime. Um, she had three assists, and they come to double, and Mo gets a layup. And, you know, those are the things that. You know, when you look at, you know, what she did, I think the biggest thing for us is she didn't turn the ball over. And it's hard not to turn the ball over. Terrible grammar for her. But because she's double and triple teamed all the time. But points, rebounds, didn't play a second in the fourth quarter. Um, just a really, really good performance. And I'm, I'm glad, you know, our fans are – it's hard to believe she's only got one more shot at it. And I think they saw – one of her better first halves that she's ever played here. And uh, hopefully she's got one more good one in her. Bill, you touched on a bit with the last question, um, but how much is tonight when you guys can execute your scouting report defense and make shots like you did and be the dominant Iowa State team that you can be at your best? How much of it was a reminder for what this team can do in March? Well, you can hope so. I, I think every, every team now, probably would say that they know they know their identity, I guess. And our identity is we have seven kids we're going to play for the most part. You have to guard the right way because we're not going to take you out of your offense. We're not going to block your shots. We're, we're completely undersized, but we're smart and we're skilled. And if we do the things, you know, that, that we know we can do, we can compete. And, you know, I think we've done that. I think we've done that the last four games. You know, I know we lost Oklahoma State, but I, that's a very good team on the road. And I thought we did it that night too. They just made more plays than us. So if we can do that, I, I just I just keep saying the same thing. We're getting to the point in the season where you're going to walk out of a building with a loss, and it's the end, the end, for five seniors for the season. You want to end up walking out feeling like 
hey, they were just better than us. We didn't, you know, forget a scouting report. We didn't do some silly things. And our team is, is mature in that regard. So hopefully that will continue. Can you talk about the pace that you guys were playing with? Because it seemed like every time you had the ball, you were pushing it towards the basket. Yeah, we were trying to play as fast as we could play. Um, we were trying to score before they set their defense. Um, when they set their defense, I think we made a couple bad decisions. But overall, you know, 14 turnovers in a game like that's not bad. And, you know, this was the kind of game because they were picking up full court. It was literally what we always talk about, shoot it before you throw it away. And uh, I thought we got some transition looks and got some things headed to the basket. So offensively, I thought we were really good. All right, thanks, everyone. Thank you. I know it's a long day.